Hi, you guys. This is La Alchemist Negra with my, what, third video. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about surviving Compton. I watched it, um, and I just want to say it's definitely, um, it's definitely a movie that I would say is a trigger warning type movie. There's a lot of um, gender-based violence going on in there. A lot of beaten of the face that you know a lot of people don't want to see especially like me i had to pause it like i was halfway through and i had to pause it and i was like wait a minute do i want to watch finish watching this um and of course i knew that this the story needed to be told so i continued to watch it but i mean if if it's something that you might be going through something you've healed from in your past um something that you experience or you just don't want to see any more black women getting smacked around getting raped I mean, look at the freaking birth of a nation. We're already getting uh, raped to open storylines and plots and things. So I get you, you know, if you don't want to experience that again, you know, don't watch it. But I guarantee you look at some of her interviews because her story is definitely an important one. Men should put their hands on anyone, right? I mean, we always have this talk. Guys are always like, oh, man, well, sometimes women be beating on men and blah, 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 all this noise. But what people don't understand is that women are a disfranchised group in comparison to men. Get that our great grandparents and our grandmas and, you know, our great, great, great grandparents, which uh, for me, I can say that my great, great grandma is an enslaved African, right? So she definitely didn't have any rights. The attack on Wendy Williams, you can't blame the grandmas and the great grandmas for giving you that advice because that is what helped them survive. That was the time that they lived in uh, because, you know, we don't, we don't face that, right? Guys, I like don't hit girls. Oh man, I mean, Michelle A. Weren't they all around? Like, wasn't that like the eighties, nineties? That's pretty recent, and that stuff still happens. The beating, the smacking, it, it still, it still occurs. So it, it still needs to be told. People, people are afraid of tarot cards. People are afraid of tarot cards and. Black Girl Magic. Oh, yeah, these are Legend of Zelda tarot cards. Turn up. People are afraid of that. But people are afraid of the fact that Dr. Dre got successful and rich and has power off of beating and abusing black women. He used their literal blood, sweat, and tears. He might as well have drawn a circle and put all their blood and tears into it to give him his career. He's the one using that evil magic, but y'all sitting here don't want your little cars read. Oh, come on now. Don't understand what I'm saying about like specifically black women and the whole history and culture of of being abused, being raped, not having any rights, um, post slavery era, especially. Read this. This is Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. She was amazing. Um, read this. This will definitely tell you the tale about that if you need some more specifics. I'd say Dr. Dre needs help. I hate when they just say the person who got smacked around, the person who got beaten, the person who got sacrificed for this man's uh, career needs help. No. Dr. Dre needs help. He needs counseling. He needs therapy. Do not buy Beats by, J by Dre. Don't, don't buy anything that he has to sell unless it clocks him into the nearest... Uh, a rehabilitation center or something like that because he needs help can we please stop making review videos saying why didn't michelle leave she should have left a long time ago mm. when you saw him beat that guy he should have left that's a spoiler i'm sorry okay we need to understand that 
some there's there's plenty of reasons like i said in the historical context why a person wouldn't leave they might not have good financial stability uh, and i could support that with the easy little statement of women don't make as much as men right mm. but um they might not have financial stability social stability um they might not they might be afraid to leave because their their partner might threaten to kill them and that makes me think of something very important that you all reminds me free brush and meadows she killed her father he was abusive he threatened to kill the entire family if the mother left that's a modern day example number two Michelle's um, video if you can. If you can't, please just look at some of her interviews, maybe read about it a little bit just to support her. Or if you just can't do any of that, if you don't want to face any of that trauma again, just make sure you like maybe buy some of her old music or something. Support her. Support her financially because that's what she needs, you know? She doesn't need all these people being negative, misogynist, anti-black. Well, I'd say Dr. Dre needs help. I hate when they just say the person who got smacked around, the person who got beaten, the person who got sacrificed for this man's uh, career needs help. No. Dr. Dre needs help. He needs counseling. He needs therapy. Do not buy Beats by, J by Dre. Don't, don't buy anything that he has to sell unless it clocks him into the nearest uh, uh, rehabilitation center or something like that because he needs help. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This has been Alchemist Negra, and I hope next time we can talk about something lighter. Peace! <laughs>